Venturi meter flow measurement equation. So it's very simple. Um, Venturi meter is meter looks like this. So the area reduced to uh, some point and then go increase again. So it's slowly reducing and then going like this. So flow doesn't disturb as much as so there is very less energy. Um, loss in this uh, venturi meter. So I think imagine that I have a point 0.1 here and point 0.2 here. Now measuring a static pressure is very easy. I can simply set up one pressure gas here and measure the static pressure as point 0.2. One pressure gas here, static pressure uh, measure at point um, point 0.2. Um, and I know that um, the I can um, the flow rate is same both at point 1 and point 2 area times velocity you can think of like a garden hose example if you squeeze the hose the flow shoots further because the velocity increases um, because the area is decreasing so area 2 times velocity 2 um, that's constant so it's a constant flow Q so we can solve from here a is equal to Q by A2, B equal to V2 is equal to Q by A2. Also here we can write down that uh, V1 is equal to Q by A1. If you write Bernoulli's equation, now because the both of these pressure gases are fit on this wall, you know that any fluid particle hit on this wall, the velocity is zero. So both of these pressure gases will read the static pressure at point one the static pressure is 0.2. So from the Bernoulli's law we can write P1 by gamma static pressure head plus the velocity head V1 is squared by 2z is equal to the static pressure head at 0.2 uh, plus the uh, velocity head at 0.2 they will be constant. Their all energy is constant. So that's what uh, Bernoulli's law says. Now we can just simply rearrange this equation by V2 is square by 2z minus V1 is square by 2z is equal to P2 by gamma minus it's going to be actually P1 by gamma minus P2 by gamma like that. Then we can write down um, we can replace this V2 uh, with this Q by A2 and then we can take this 2Z on this side. So for V square we can write Q is square by A2 is square minus Q is square by A1 is square is equal to 2Z by gamma P1 minus P2. So I'm going to check this here. So Q1, I can write Q, then A2 is square by plus minus 1 by A1 is square is equal to 2Z. For gamma, I can write rho Z. That's gamma. And then P1 minus P2. Uh, forgot to square them. Q square. So I can write Q is square times A1 is square minus A2 is square divided by A1 times A2, both is square, is equal to 2 by rho P1 minus P2. Now I can solve for Q, which will be square root of 2 P1 minus P2 a1 is square, A2 is square, divided by rho, A1 is square minus A2 is square. I think I could have keep that A1, A2 outside of this square root, which would then be A1, A2, square root of 2, P1 minus P2, divided by rho, 
a1 square minus a2 square like that so using this equation I can calculate the flow rate I know the area of this inside area here I you know inside area here I know static pressure at point 1 is static pressure at point 2 so I can calculate the flow rate 